Hi, welcome to the Darren Yates Show on the Mayhem Network. Hi, this is Joe Taylor. Joe! Hey, how's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Doing very good. Thanks for calling in. We really appreciate it. Uh, hey, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, this, is, uh, this is great. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So, uh, very cool. <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer has, has been a friend of mine for a while, and we've always wanted to work together, and she told me about you, and I, I heard your song, saw the video. We love it, man, all around the world. Very cool song. Oh, th thank you so much. Listen, I re really appreciate uh, you, you playing this. Um, you know, that, that's, that's very cool. Yeah, Jennifer's great. I've, I've, uh, I don't know if I've known her as long as you, but I've known her for a couple of years. Um, but I'm um, just really happy to be working, working with her on this, uh, on this. So thank you so much, though. No problem, man. Yeah, we have a crew here called The Decorators, so this is the Mayhem Network, The Decorators. So we're going to be a TV show in about a month, and right awesome. now we're, do, we're doing a radio show on Saturday morning. So, um, so yeah, so again, we appreciate you coming on, and we appreciate your support. So you're, you're from Canada, from Toronto, yeah. right? Yeah, actually, it's funny. I'm actually in Canada right now. I'm actually uh, visiting family, so. Nice. So what's the, what's the Canadian music scene like compared to the U.S.? What, uh, what are your thoughts I, on that? I'd say... Um, Canadian scene tends to be a little more. It breaks up into two two ways. Uh, it goes it tends to be a little more Celtic when you go East Coast, and then it tends to be a little more. Um, um, I'd say a little more. It, it's a little. It's a little raw. The music's a little bit raw. Think about it. Um, you know, it does get a little colder here. It's not like that much colder, but it, uh, you know, obviously we're in the south. It is, but if you're like in New York or Chicago, it's. It's a little cooler than that, but it's not that much. But think more, if you were drinking, a lot of music in a bar, and it was it was really cool. You're going to want to hear something a little more, uh, you know, a little more gritty. Um, yeah. And then, of course, if you're more on the East Coast, something a little more Celtic, kind of get that whole, uh, um, you know, Scotland, Ireland kind of vibe going on. So Nice. But, yeah. So you you've been you've been in New York, LA. It looked like you bounced around, did a bunch of showcases and stuff. What was your what was your initial break into the the U.S.? Did you get a producer that that saw, you know want to work with you or a manager? Or what was your first break? Yeah. Well, what kind of got me down there was um, well, first off, I, I just wanted to just to get down there to start doing you know gigs. I just started went down did some gigs. Um, my producer kind of. I met my producer in Los Angeles uh, back in uh, 2006. Uh, th there's a really cool cafe, it, Pico, in America. It's called the Unurban Cafe. It's really cool. It's got this kind of, kind of cool kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. And in West LA, right? Audience. And my producer had kind of, and it wasn't my producer at the time, but had seen through a mutual friend, got referred to some of the music I was doing, and decided to come out. And then everything just kind of spawned from there. Okay, very cool. So who, who wrote um, All Around the World? Did you write that, or would you have a co-writer? Wrote, I wrote that song, but I also had a lot of help from my good friend, um, Hillary Bernstein. So we, her and I, we, we penned that one together. Nice. And, uh, Isn't she, it, a, she works at Sony, right? Isn't she from Sony? Very, you know, um, there's just so much non-uplifting thing out there right now. It's nice to... You know, feel good. So your CD, Anything Is Possible, that was released in the uh, end of 2011, right? Yeah, uh, it's, yes. Uh, I mean, officially it hasn't been released online yet. Okay. But so we're still, we're still getting there, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, yes, it definitely was in 2011. And you have, you have an all-star cast, part of the CD, musicians. I, I noticed um, Matt Bissonette, I had to talk about him first. He's a Satriani, Dave Lee Roth guy. I'm big fans of those guys. What was it like working with Matt Bissonette? Yeah, it's, I, I got pretty lucky working with him. Uh, he's he's probably one of the most all-around talented musicians that has probably ever walked the planet. I guess if somebody wanted to write like a definition, what would be the definition of Matt Bissonette? That would be the definition. <laughs> yeah. So, and did uh, it, you had Kevin Fisher from Rascal Flats. I mean, you get you had a nice uh, a nice yeah, little. I, I got Okay. Wow. Nice. And, you know, yeah. He also did. Uh, remember Doctor Feelgood by Moldy Crew? And, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. He's done so many things, and then of course his partner 
and Jeff Gross, um, they, they pulled in some really great, great people for me to work with. And, uh, and I'm, I'm just, I you know, was just very lucky, very fortunate to, uh, to, to get to these guys because most artists will never, will never get, you know, people like that. It just, it's just not going to happen physically, you know? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Well, congratulations on that. So, people listening right now should check out um, all around the world. What's the best website? Was it Joe Taylor? What was it again? Uh, JoeTaylorOfficial.com. JoeTaylorOfficial.com. Yeah, if you're also interested in, um, if you want to buy the CD, the best way to do it is just type in Joe Taylor and then type in Anything's Possible. And that's Anything's with an apostrophe S. And, um,. And, and that'll come up, and all the songs will come up, and you can get the CD. Um, if you want it to get all around the world, just go to iTunes. That one is available. Type in Joe Taylor, all around the world. It should come up on iTunes as well. Cool, man. We're, we're definitely big fans. And, you know, okay. your, vo- your voice, man, has a great character to it. What are, who are some of your influences? What are some of your uh, the guys you look up to? Yeah, I, I'd say probably like uh, John Lennon. Um, I'd say like vocally, though. Um, Steve Perry, I get that a lot. Um, you know, there's a little Don Henley vibe in there, but yeah. probably more Steve Perry. And uh, and I'm actually a huge Steven Tyler fan as well. Nice. You know, you, you. I don't know if you can hear. You, you sound like Peter Gabriel on the track. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, man. I love Peter Gabriel as well. That that could be my producer, absolutely, Jeff. He loves Peter Gabriel. Yeah. He's like Joe. More Peter Gabriel, more Peter Gabriel, but yeah. but thank you. You got yeah, it. Yeah, he's very yeah. cool too. Yeah, he's man, definitely. Better. Well, we're definitely gonna promote you, man, and your new album and and your song. We'll get people to check out. The, oh, the, I gotta talk about the video. The video, man, what a great concept, but a great idea. I mean, oh, thank it you. looks like you're in all those places. Surely you weren't, right? I mean, I guess. Well, uh, I, I I can't give away all the trade secrets, <laughs> yeah. but, I will, but but I will say that. Um, that was awesome. Yeah. You know, th- those guys just, <laughs> you know, they did an awesome, awesome job. We're actually shooting a new video as well, so it, it should be, it should be done soon. As soon as we get it done, I'll definitely send it, uh, send it your way for sure. Well, fantastic, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, we'll have to. Um, when you're through St. Louis, get to pop in the studios. We'll do a little segment on you for the TV show and the radio show. You know. I, I would absolutely love to come to St. Louis. Um, and you guys have just for the record, you guys. I don't know if any of you guys are vegetarians, but, you know, if you are, I apologize, but you guys have like, the best ribs. <laughs> rock, rock my world. So, uh, All yeah, right. three years ago, I was passing through, and wow. Nice, man. Well, hey, man, we're big fans of you, and uh, let's stay in touch here. Let's keep in touch for sure, and I'd lo- love to do it, yeah, like a, and uh, keep you up to date with the television show, and, of course, you'll, you'll keep in touch with Jennifer, and... Love, 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 love to do that at some point too. Just let me know whatever you guys need. So, and, and thank you so much. No for, problem, uh, Joe. No problem, man. Uh, again, congrats on everything, and good luck with everything. And we're uh, we're gonna edit some stuff down here for the radio stuff, and we'll let you know when we release some stuff. And when you're when you when we get to see you live, whether we're out there with our cameras, or you're through town, we'll grab some TV stuff too. Really looking forward to it. Thank you right so on, Joe. much. Thank you, man. Uh, thanks, man. All right, buddy. See you. See you.